But right now, let's turn now and talk about Republican Senator Tim Scott of South Carolina. He's leading a multi-million dollar initiative to get black voters on board for Donald Trump. The Great Opportunity PAC, which is affiliated with Senator Scott, is pledging to spend $14 million between now and Election Day. They're trying to sway black voters, especially in swing states, to get behind the former president. According to exit polling, former President Barack Obama won 93% of the black vote in 2012. But Democrats have been losing support ever since. Exit polling from 2016 showed Trump had only 8% of black voter support, but by 2020, that number went up to 12%. So what could this year hold for the former president? Here to help me figure that out and break it all down is Republican strategist and radio host Malik Abdul. He joins me now. Malik, I want to apologize in advance. Should Mr. Biden step to that lectern, we will have to jump out of this. But let's get right into it, because we were talking about Senator Tim Scott. Is he the right man for the job to help Mr. Trump get more black support? Well, first of all, I was uh, interrupted by Donald Trump on yesterday, so I am accustomed to this. I won't feel bad about it at all. I think that Tim Scott actually is the right guy to, to message this. I wasn't happy, and I've told many people, I was a big Tim Scott fan. I would have rathered him being the GOP nominee, and I wasn't happy with his very awkward candidacy. But when it comes to this, I think that Tim Scott is actually poised for this. But we should also be careful to understand that there are elements out there, for instance, the Black Conservative Federation, but going back to at least 2018 has been involved in a get out to vote operation. What Senator Scott seems to be focusing on here is not your door knocking canvassing, but it's going to be a lot of round messaging. So what I would like for Senator Scott to do is not to just focus on this get out to vote operation. I would like for him to pick up where Donald Trump left off when he was in office regarding police reform and even a second step act. Personally, I think that Tim Scott would me, me be much better on that as far as galvanizing and messaging voters than a simple get out to vote operation. Malik, I want to address the elephant in the room because I'm sure you've heard it before um, as a Republican strategist and radio host. How do you first get past that initial shock when as a person of color, an African-American, a black man like myself, when you walk into that room and you tell people, oh, not only am I a Republican, but I want to get you on board uh, with the policies of the Republican Party. And guess what? I believe that Mr. Trump is the best choice for you and your family. Well, I've experienced that myself as someone who lost a number of friendships, relationships, job opportunities when I uh, decided to support Donald Trump moving from the Democratic Party to the Republican Party. What I tend to focus on, and I have these many conversations now just at the barbershop, I focus on the things where we can find commonality. Both people, people on both sides are just disgusted with the political system. But once you move people past, I don't like Donald Trump because of this or because of that. Or once you explain, even with this latest case where people are saying that Donald Trump used his own money, Hillary Clinton was actually charged by the FEC for the violation that Alvin Bragg said that Hillary Clinton, that um, Donald Trump committed. The once you get beyond the dislike and you get to policies and you get to your realization that many of the things that affect our lives actually happen at the local level, not so much the presidential level, then we're just getting into who you like versus don't you like, and it's all based on personality. But I haven't had as much of a problem over the years now going into spaces. I live in Washington, D.C. now in the most underrepresented, under-resourced ward. I don't have a problem going to my community talking about how the Republican Party, not just simply focusing on Donald Trump, can be a benefit to black people. And like you, sir, I once at one point lived in Southeast, so I understand the area and community well. While support may be waning, it holds true that black voters are still overwhelmingly Democratic. How do you get over that hump? Now, data from Pew Research Center shows that 83 percent of black Americans lean Democratic, with 77 percent saying they would vote for President Joe Biden if the election were held today. So what should the focus be for uh, Scott and the Republican Party? Because like you said, uh, the idea of paying more at the grocery store is bipartisan. We're all paying more. Mm -hmm. Those eggs don't care if I'm Republican or Democrat. Yeah, I absolutely agree with that. And so I would add a number of things. For one, Republicans are going to have to have a solid answer on abortion. We're going to have to coalesce around an answer, and I would say a Nikki Haley-style answer to abortion. Republicans are going to have to, as I said. Let's talk about a second step back. Let's talk about we, the, the Donald Trump and Tim Scott 
Scott went through an entire primary season and they weren't able to talk about those things. Why? Because people like Mike Pence and Ron DeSantis decided that the first step back in criminal justice reform was an ugly, ugly word. Donald Trump, uh, Tim Scott, they need to lean into that to talk about what the next chapter of the administration would look like. The work that Tim Scott did on police reform. Let's actually bring those type of things up. Let's talk about how we're going to help small businesses. Let's talk about how we're going to help seniors. Donald Trump actually lowered the prescription drug price for Medicare, uh, for Medicare, I think, Part D, where he encouraged these uh, the pharmaceutical companies to lower it to about $35. You have to talk about that stuff. It can't not just be backwards looking, talking about everything that has happened to Donald Trump or that Joe Biden is old. Don't sleep on Joe Biden because the Joe Biden who showed up in that state of the union can show up for this debate. So the Republicans are going to have to be focused and have a massive get out to vote operation, which organizations like the Black Conservative Federation is now doing. Malika, I have less than 30 seconds. You've heard others talk about how Mr. Trump now aligns with African Americans and they understand him better now that he is a felon. Malik? Yeah, so I think that if we can borrow from 50 Cent, who actually made a similar comment, and other people, I think that what Donald Trump needs to do is show how he was impacted by the system and what he will do to change it. Just saying, you relate to me because I've been in the system, impacted by the system, that's not going to work. Tell us how you're going to do to actually fix the system. That's how you connect. Malik Abdul, I look forward to hearing what you have to say in the barbershop. Malik, thank you. <laughs>